What's up, guys? I'm being held against my will. Please send help. And today we're back with episode 231. To Siri at Apple <laughs> well, oh my god, I thought I thought for a second it was like gonna call 911. Okay. Okay, wow. Back with episode 231 of Room Tour Project, the series we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. And if you see any gear or hardware you like, I'll have it all listed for you down below so you can check it out. And with Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up literally next week, hopefully some of the things will be on sale, add to your wish list, save some money, all that good stuff. So just check the links down below for it all. We'll kick it off now. 231. This episode is sponsored by Corsair and the new K100 RGB keyboard. With a ton of new features right at your fingertips, you get the addition of a new multifunctional dial to let you change lighting, music, scroll pages, anything you want. We now have optical switches with their own OPEX linears that are super smooth and fast with their new 4000 Hz pulling capability in addition to a new wrist rest and dynamic RGB lighting zones. This is definitely going to be on a lot of people's wish list coming up this holiday season, so if you want to check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. First up, we have Cullen, and I'm going to dub this one the Nebula setup because I'm really digging that backdrop he has behind the entire setup, plus the matching wallpaper span across both displays. But then when you zoom out, you can see he's got that neon like Saturn sign mounted above it. Um, if you take a look up on the ceiling, he has like a star galaxy projection kind of going on. And altogether, this just looks really, really sick. I wish I knew the proper name for like what this theme of art is for the wallpaper. I just call it like, I don't know, like a splash, but obviously it's more than that, but it always looks cool. Um, let me know if you know the name. So his primary monitor is a 29 inch Viotech 120 Hertz ultra wide with the overhead being a Scepter 24 inch monitor. For the main peripherals, is a Red Dragon K556 Kala keyboard with the Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum mouse on an all white extended RGB mouse pad. Then for audio, you can see the Logitech Z523 2.1 speaker setup with the Astro A10 headset and the Habit RGB headset stand. Then we transition over to the PC. We have the Corsair IQ 220T case inside an Intel i7 8700K CPU with a Cooler Master Master Air G100M cooler. Their naming scheme always just is ridiculous. Uh, 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on an Asus Prime Z390A motherboard and the Asus RTX 2070 OC GPU, keeping all the internals to a blue sort of color theme for the RGB lighting with the black and white accents in there, matching the setup. And then a peek underneath the desk, great job of cable management, got the gutters there, keeping everything nice and controlled, nothing drooping down onto the floor. Always good to see. So yeah, man, like I said, calling this one the Nebula setup from Colin, even in daytime, it seems like nice and refreshing and just very chill and relaxed. But uh, once the nighttime comes, turn on all the RGB, and then now you're in outer space, you're in Saturn. Really, really liking it. Uh, pretty creative overall, I'd say. And I think just the neon sign really tips it off. It takes it to a new level. And I would say whatever you're using to project that like galaxy up on the ceiling, try to pick up a second one and put it behind the monitor so it goes kind of onto that backdrop, and then onto the ceiling right above it. Might look pretty cool. Hot damn. This is another one. I tell you guys, like whenever you see these super clean and minimal ones in a regular edition like this, it's me just not being able to have patience. Like this very easily could be the thumbnail for the clean and minimal edition, but it's just so nice. I had to show it to you now because I love it. Ah, you know what? I very well just may put this in the next clean and minimal edition as well because it's my show. Either way, for the display here, it is an LG 34 inch ultra wide. Nice 98 inch wooden desk and I love just the accents and some things around the setup. Even though I, I would assume a lot of this is from Ikea, like that lamp, it's super minimal but it looks really nice and fits in. You got their Ikea pegboard and it's actually like organized and done nicely. I have one and it just looks like utter crap. I might take that switch idea though. You even got the nice plant off to the side. This setup has it all. For the peripherals, even down to here, you got the KBD 8X Mark II keyboard. For the switches, they're lubed and filmed Gateron N1s. And the keycaps here complementing the case are the GMK 9s using one of those Native Union cables. And for the mouse, Logitech MX Master 2S. On the Random Frank P and Novel Keys topographic mouse pad, this is what you call tasteful. Good stuff, good stuff. 
By the way, I know I'm gonna get asked about it. No, I don't know when it's gonna be restocked. Some other things, you can also see the Lenovo Smart Clock as well as the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. Then over to the PC, chilling with some sort of IV on the front, draping down. It's the NZXT H510i case in all black. Inside the Ryzen 7 3700X CPU with the NZXT Kraken M22 AIO. 32 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z Royal RGB RAM in silver with a Zotac 2070 Super GPU. And just look at that clean glow on the inside. Like, man, looks really nice as well. So what else more can I say, really? Like, how can you look at this setup and not get this just overwhelming feeling of love and then jealousy? You know, super, super clean. Uh, this is easily like a, a 35 out of 10, okay? Next, we have the bad Scott. And Scott, you might be bad, but this setup's good. Yeah, that was pretty lame, so we're just gonna keep it moving. Uh, for his monitors, got the ultra-wide stacked orientation here. The primary one is an MSI Optics 34 inch, with the overhead being an MSI Optics 27 inch. One thing I like to point out is that like hexagon pattern, whether it's vinyl that he has up on the wall. If that was just a plain gray wall, I really think this setup would just look, you know, a lot more basic and plain. Just a little vinyl accents throughout it, I think ties it together a lot more. Down to his peripherals, you have the Razer Ornata Chroma keyboard with the Razer Mamba mouse. I believe that's a custom mouse pad. That display on the left side is an Echo Show 5. And then for audio, he has the Kantu YU2 speakers. And then for his headsets, I like how he has them mounted underneath the shelf right off to the side of the setup. So these are the SteelSeries Arctis Pro. Those are ones on the left side. The middle are the Bose QC35. And then the Razer Kraken Mercury Edition headset. But now, checking out the PC, yet again, the NZXT H510 Elite case. Super clean build with the Ryzen 5 3600 CPU and the NZXT Kraken X63 AIO. And he also has the rad custom painted white with some cable mod covers there for the tubes. Again, gotta make it all match. 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on an MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard and a Gigabyte RTX 2060 Super GPU. Again, loving the all black and white internals here. And all together, taking a look at it, you can see also underneath the desk, it's supported as well with two additional legs and a great job with cable management. So just a really nice gaming room here. You can see you got the TV, Xbox One as well, so you can kick back over there, play some console games. Just really liking the way this all came together. Now, someone call your average consumer because we've got George in the house with a crazy Gundam themed setup. Loving the way he spanned the wallpapers there on the bottom three with a separate one for the top. And you can see underneath he also has a fifth display pretty much with his drawing tablet and just a ton of figures around the room, some pop figures. This is pretty nuts. So for the overhead, it is a 55 inch 4K TCL Roku TV. On the bottom, his main display in the middle is an Asus 24 inch. It's the VG24 8QG. And the two on each side are also 24 inches from Asus, but they're the VG24 5H. And then underneath his main monitor, you can see the drawing tablet. This is the Huion Canvas Pro 16. So just tons of pixels, tons of displays here, and it all looks so, so good. RGB light behind the desk, RGB light behind the main TV, man. And you can see the pegboard off to the left side with a bunch of like arts and crafts stuff where I would soon be building those Gundam figures. This all just comes together really, really well. It's like chaotic in a way almost, but not to the point where it's overwhelming. I think it's still all put together pretty tastefully. Down to the peripherals, we have the Razer Ornata Chroma keyboard with the Razer Basilisk V2 mouse on a Razer Goliathus extended mouse pad. You can see the PS4 in the back with the uh, PewDiePie skin from Dbrand on it, as well as the PewDiePie themed chair. So we got a Pewds fan. Then over to the PC, he said this is a pre-built from Origin. Uh, so this is the Corsair 680X case inside the Intel i7 10700KF CPU, which I had no idea was a thing, with their Frostbite 240 AIO, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM, and an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Founders Edition GPU. And again, props for the cable management, because with everything you saw going on on his desktop, all the hardware, all the monitors, this is how clean and organized it is underneath the desk. 
That's some real patience and dedication to the craft. And that's what this entire setup is. Dedication to the craft. He has a, you know, the hobby with the Gundam figures, going all out with that. Loving the monitors, the wallpapers, all the pop figures around. Gaming setup at its best. And then last we have, I believe this name is pronounced maybe like Mamacita. I, I apologize if that wasn't your intention, but the X is kind of throwing me off there. So I'm going to call it Mamacita. Uh, so let's roll with that. But yes, rocking the dual monitor setup, red and white, loving the use of the nail leaf or light panels above the monitor, kind of spanning to the side uh, by the PC as well. But yes, very bright and vibrant here. So checking it out for the two monitors, the primary one is an LG 34 inch ultra wide coming in at 160 Hertz. And the vertical one on the left side is a 27 inch from LG at 144 Hertz. I gotta say good job on mounting as well because all you can really see is the one cable cover coming down definitely pretty clean overall and then getting into the actual gear and hardware and stuff on the desktop you can see got a sound bar there the elgato stream deck xl an xbox one controller as like a secondary peripheral but for the main set got the razor huntsman mini in white to match the white model o mouse they're both on the razor goliath's chroma mouse pad and then up top the pc we have the razor kraken kitty headset set which I, I've seen before but I never thought it was like a real product I thought it was just like some sort of mod but it's, it's, it's legit but for the PC code named Alaska inside the Leon Lee PC 011 dynamic white case got a Ryzen 9 3900 X CPU with the Corsair H100i RGB Platinum SE for the AIO with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB RAM on an Asus Prime X570 Pro motherboard and then the Gigabyte RTX 20 70 super gaming oc 3x gpu but again even for the internals here the rgb fans and all the rgb just to some of the hardware still matching red and white so i'm really digging this one and as you can see just right next to the setup you can kick back in the chair and get some console gaming done with that massive tv there mounted right on the wall got the nintendo switch ps4 the controllers mounted on the wall as well even have the additional keyboards up there on the shelf so when it comes to just a really great gaming space this one i think nails it really good job all right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 231 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, like I said, all the gear and hardware will be listed for you in the description down below, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered in a future episode of Room Tour Project. You would not believe how many submissions I get that are just completely wrong and invalid. So just check down below for it all. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope y'all enjoyed. Have a good day.